Alright, good morning class. How are we doing this morning? Good. Good. Very good. Very good. Today we're making some hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce is an emulsion sauce, which means we're going to take egg yolks and suspend butter and some water in there to have a nice little matrix that creates a sauce. There are some downsides to this sauce. One is the perfect growth medium for bacteria which means basically after three hours you want to throw it out. Right? It's got protein in it, it's got bacteria in it, it's just a natural disaster for a problem, bacteriologically speaking. Alright, for this project today we're going to have eggs, alright, and we're going to take our eggs, we're going to put egg yolks, the egg whites we're going to save. Whenever you crack eggs, crack it on a flat. If you go to crack it on the side of the bowl, the little shards end up into your product, which is not a good thing. So crack things on the flat, and what we're going to do is just separate the egg out. Just like this. Now if the eggs are a little warm, they'll separate a little bit easier. All right. These eggs have been left out for about an hour. I want to get that chalice out of there. We have our eggs in here. Take this, put it off on the side, and here. All right, to this we need to add one eggshell of water. All right, so we have our water here. We're going to submerge it and get one complete eggshell of water. I'm going to place that in there. All right, so we have the water. Egg yolks are in there. We're going to add a little bit of salt to this. Okay. Add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Oh, using cayenne pepper, chef? Yeah, using okay. cayenne pepper. Now, you can also use Tabasco with this. Alright, so whatever you have, you Tabasco or cayenne pepper, it doesn't matter, it's fine. Either way. This is the more modern version. There is another version where you'll actually take white wine, vinegar, shallots, and some herbs and reduce it down to almost a, a dry second leaf, maybe about a teaspoon in there, and you'd actually add that, all this thing, to that. The downside to that is you've got to strain it out. All right, so this is a more modern version that we <laughs> tend to use. All right, next we're gonna take this, put it over a water bath. All right, we're going to start the emulsion by cooking it lightly. You want to get that wire whip moving. You do not want to scramble these egg yolks at 155 or so. They're going to scramble. This is not a beautiful thing if that happens. You'll notice they're starting to froth up. They're starting to cook. At this point, I'm going to take this off and let the heat of the bowl catch up with my egg yolks. I do not want to scramble these eggs. But yet I want to get it start off with a tight emulsion here. All right. What I'm going to do at this point is incorporate an acid. Now, some people like to add the acid in the beginning. I like to add it halfway through it. And the reason for that is the acids will start to coagulate the proteins too soon before the molecules open up. So I tend to add it at this point. All right, roughly about a tablespoon of juice is what you're looking for. Because the acids in this will start to coagulate your proteins. All right.
I find I get more stable mixture this way. All right, at this point, you can see the acids are actually doing a lot of the work for me. All right, less likelihood of it breaking. That's why I do that. I know a lot of culinary schools. I know where I went to school. They put everything in the beginning. This is something I found uh, through the many years of making this uh, little sauce. All right, the real fun part comes at this point. You want to add your liquids into this sauce, ver your butter into the sauce very, very slowly. All right, and I do mean slowly, drop by drop. The reason for that is simple. By adding it drop by drop, you'll start off with a great emulsion. By putting a wet towel underneath, it'll keep the bowl from rocking and rolling all over the place. And again, literally drop by drop. The key is to start this emulsion very slowly in the beginning. Again, we're adding our butter. Now that we started it, I can add a little bit faster. Again, keeping that emulsion. What I'm looking for is mayonnaise, that kind of consistency in that sauce. This is probably the three egg yolks are going to take about 10 ounces of butter. All right, if you overladen it with butter, you will break it. And that can be a problem in itself. But you want to get that buttery flavor in there. That's what this is all about. This sauce is great for vegetables. Anybody know a popular breakfast dish that's still around? Brunch time? Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict, outstanding. You'll notice it's getting a nice little shine to it. The fat's coming out. Just about where I want to be. All right, at this point in time, I kind of like where that sauce is. It's got nice mayonnaise type quality to it. You can see it. At this point, I want to taste it to see what it's going to taste like, see if it needs any additions or subtractions. Need some salt, and just a touch more acid. We use kosher salt here because I happen to like the texture that it gives and the flavor. You have much more control over it. It's not as salty as regular table salt. And I'm going to add probably about another, maybe half a teaspoon of lemon juice. All right? Should be a nice, delicate balance of acid and fat on the palate with just a little bit of salt hanging in the background at that third level. Ah, this is what I want. This is good. All right, this ends our Hollandaise demo. I want everybody to try this and recreate. Thank you.